Uh, yes and no. Those are real tough games to play. Um, we uh, gave guys opportunities to put their best foot forward and go out on a good note. And uh, I thought they had a real good third period. Uh, leading up to that, we'd only had 12 shots, and that was a little disappointing. I challenged them to at least double that and carry the play. And, and uh, they did to the point where they drew a few penalties and were able to put a marker up on the power play. Uh, my message was I, I was very gracious and, and thankful that we had Mitchell Weeks and Dominic Jendik and, and, of course, Liam Ross. And I think any of the guys returning, if they uh, could take a small part of those men and emulate them and try and strive with their work ethic, we'll be in real good shape going forward. Uh, Dom got a goal. He's, uh, he is extremely banged up, but because he's a warrior and a committed man and, and a hockey player, um, he performed for the majority of the game for us before he couldn't know any more. Liam Ross is the same battler he's always been. Probably had an injury that would have ended the season for a lot of guys and came back and really pushed down the stretch for us. And of course, our MVP, uh, Mitchell Weeks, was stellar. So um, they're not just the three stars for the game. They're the three stars of our season, as far as I'm concerned. Well, we have to realize that coming close doesn't count. Uh, I hope they realize that by turning 18, just turning 18 isn't going to make them better, or just turning 17 isn't going to make them better. Um, there's a level of commitment that those three graduating guys had that was far beyond what I'm thinking they've witnessed in the past, and they need to emulate that. They need to copy that, and they need to come back knowing that just being a year older isn't going to do it. It's going to take a, um, a greater level of commitment to the small details and to a solid game every, every single night.